Hello there and welcome to this video on ionic bonding. This is the first one in the series and it's going to look about what ions are and how they form. Now you should remember the rule that dictates how many electrons an element has in the outer shell. If it's in group 1, 1 in the outer shell and if it's in group 7, 7 in the outer shell. Now what all these elements want to do is get a full outer shell and they can do that by either gaining or losing electrons. And the general rule is that all non-metals will gain and all metals will lose electrons to get that full outer shell. To see if there's a pattern, what you need to do is have a look at each of the groups and the number of electrons in the outer shell. So for group 1, for example, which has 1 in the outer shell, it's easier to lose 1 than it is to gain 7 to get that full outer shell. And that pattern continues with groups 1, 2 and 3, so they will all lose electrons. Groups 5, 6 and 7 are the opposite way around because it's easier to gain them. Okay, so the next question is, how many do they want to lose, how many do they want to gain? So groups 1, 2 and 3 all want to lose them, and what's easier? Group 1, it's easier to lose 1. Group 2 with 2 in the outer shell loses 2, and group 3 with 3 in the outer shell loses 3. It's the opposite way around, a bit like a mirror. When you get to group 5, it needs to gain 3 to get a full outer shell, so it gains 3. Gain 2 for group 6, and group 7 needs 1 more, so it gains 1. Now you will notice that I haven't put anything for group 4 in both these situations. The reason for that is group 4 elements can either gain or lose and that will change depending on whether they are metal or non-metal. But you won't be asked that in the exam. Okay, so we now have how many they want to gain or lose. How can we use that to work out the charge? So if we look at lithium as an example, which has 3 electrons and 3 protons, which you can remember that is the bottom number on the periodic table. So we have three positive charges with the protons and we have three negative charges for the electrons. Now because it's in group one and loses one electron, so because that's removed, we also lose one negative charge. So the other charges will cancel each other out, which leaves us with one positive charge. So my formula is Li plus for my lithium ion. Now this is a pattern that repeats for all metals, so group 1, group 2 and group 3. So if we look at the overall charges, group 1 will become plus 1, group 2 will become plus 2 and group 3 will become plus 3. And as I said, that is for all metals, they will lose electrons and become positively charged ions. So if we do the same for oxygen then, which has got 8 electrons, 2 in the first shell, 6 in the second, you can see that it needs to gain 2. We have 8 protons and 8 electrons, and because it's gaining 2 electrons, we have 2 extra negative charges. Again, we do the same we did before, we cancel out the ones that we've got the same number of positives and negatives for, and that leaves me with 2 minuses. So oxygen in group 6 has a charge of 2 minus. So group 7 gains 1 becomes minus 1, and group 5 gains 3 becomes minus 3 which in summary just goes to show that all non-metals are gaining electrons and they all form negative ions. Right, so the next part of this video then is we need to discover what an ionic bond actually is. So if we just draw the outer shells, which is what you'd be asked to do in the exam, of your elements, so in this case I'm going to do lithium and chlorine. Lithium's in group 1, so 1 in the outer shell, and chlorine is in group 7, so 7 in the outer shell. We now know that lithium wants to lose an electron and chlorine wants to gain it. Well, an ionic bond is where the metal donates its electrons to the non-metal. So you should now be able to tell me that the charges, so lithium is a metal, becomes positive, chlorine becomes negative. Now, an ionic bond is a strong force of attraction between those ions. So you have the positive and negative ions opposites attract, and this forms a strong force of attraction. And that is the definition of what your ionic bond is. Now, what you also need to remember is the names of the ions. If it's negative, it's an anion. If it's positive, it's a cation. Okay, let's have a look at a couple of questions then. So, there are four questions for this one, because it's quite a long topic. And that is, number one, what does this element want to do to become stable? So, you have an example of an element here with one electron in the outer shell. What does it want to do? For two marks. Explain how to work out the charge for the ion of this element. For two marks. What is the name given to a positive and negative ion? For two marks. And then what is the definition of an ionic bond? So think back to what we've done in the video. Pause the video and have a go. And I'll see if you're right in a minute. Okay, let's have a look. So what does the element want to do? Well, we've said it's got one electron in the outer shell. So to get a full outer shell, it's going to be easier to lose that one electron. So you get one mark for lose, one mark for one electron. 
Part 2 explain how to work out the charge for the ions of this element. So if it's losing one electron, what is the charge of an electron? Negative. So you get one mark for saying losing one negative electron, giving it a positive charge overall is your second mark. Part 3. What is the name given to the positive and negative ions? Cations are positive, positive, one mark. Anions are negative ion, negative. And then finally, what is the definition of an ionic bond? The first one's fairly straightforward, a strong force of attraction. Then the second one, you can either say between the positive and the negative ions, or between anions and cations. Okay, hopefully that makes sense to you now. If you're feeling confident about it, go on to the review question. It's a four marker, which says write down the charge for any ion from group 1, 2, 6, and 7, and then explain what an ionic bond is, why it forms, and why ions have the charges that they do. And that ends this video.